fast developing situation in Ukraine where it is no longer clear who is actually in control of that country. The president has left the capital and protesters have seized all the key government buildings. ABC's Hamish McDonald is in the middle of it all in Kiev. Hamish. Yeah, hi, Biana. It's clear at this point that the president is not in full control of this country. Walking around the streets of the capital this morning, the protesters are in control of all the key pieces of infrastructure, the president's office, the parliament building, even his residence out in the countryside. In the last little while, the parliament has passed new laws to free uh, one of the key opposition leaders who's been in prison for two and a half years, Yulia Tymoshenko. So events are unfolding very, very quickly, and many of them are at the parliament where I spoke to one MP a short time ago. Right now he is still a legal president anyway, but we cannot see him here and it, no one knows whether he is in Kyiv or whether he is somewhere else. Right now we, have, we are on, on the edge of a war and the result of this war could be really horrible. And anyway, we can see here not just economical war or social, we can see ge geopolitical war. East and well, ABC News has been told by the president's spokeswoman that he is in the eastern city of Kharkiv, but the opposition doesn't believe that. They're looking at the flight records. They believe he, believe he may have gone overseas, perhaps to Abu Dhabi. But right now, uh, this country is holding its breath. The real risk is whether or not it will remain united or split into two, possibly even three parts, with Russia obviously backing the eastern states.